Because you're so tech savvy. <laughs> here goes the record in here. And there's the encoder. You are good to go. Hey, Chels. Hey, Stacy. You know what? Find you a man who strokes your hair and says he loves how soft it is, even if it's on your legs. <laughs> the accuracy, though. <laughs> Listen, I'm not excited about these warm times because now I have to actually do work. <laughs> Today's episode, we'd love for Bic to sponsor us. <laughs> hey, or Venus. <laughs> She's got it. <laughs> yeah, baby, I've got it. <laughs> Yes, Stacy. <laughs> yes, Chelsea. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, you know, just oh, yeah. another day okay. in the life. But anyways, hi, America. This is Reasons Why I'm Single. Welcome. Hey, hey, hey. So, Daisy. Hey. And one of those. <laughs> I'm the black one. <laughs> yeah, Stacey's white. Stacey's black. No. Uh. <laughs> Listen, that has been uh, the theme of everything this week. And before we jump into things, it's not just me and Chelsea. We've got a guest today, too. <gasps> hey! Yay! We're uh, so excited. Better look fabulous. I oh, see no. you. <laughs> oh, Beautiful. I know, right? But um, yeah, this is Reasons Why I'm Single. Thanks for tuning in, America. So it has been a heck of a week. Um, as I like to tell people, it's just been a highlighted chapter in the day in the life of someone being black. So when I've had a says, when she likes to tell people, she means she likes to tell white people. Because, <laughs> because what what's what's very good and important about what happened this week is that it has open open and opening a lot of eyes. But it is also definitely not the first or, oh, God, it would be great if it was the last. But it's not the first or the second or the third time this has happened. Sorry, Stace, go ahead. No, listen, <laughs> Chelsea and I, we've been besties since seventh grade. And so we've had this conversation many times. But for a lot of other uh, people in my life that are white, we've had these conversations about, oh, my gosh, does racism still go on? But this has been a very exhausting week for me. But it's just another day in the life so there are injustices against black people like myself and it's been going on for at least 400 years now so like chelsea said it's been good we've been ha i've been having open dialogues with white people but it's just these weeks are exhausting for black people because you're basically explaining all week why you deserve to be alive and why you deserve to be treated as human and then people go into well, why are black people angry well if they just pull themselves up by their bootstraps and it's a deeper conversation so it's been a rough week for me but hey god made me this way i am black and delicious y'all know that but <laughs> Thank you to the white allies that I have, that we've had good conversations for people that have had their eyes opened and have been living white privilege, which is something that exists where you get certain benefits for having your white skin. And I don't get those privileges because I am black. So I've had good dialogues with people talking about the history of this, like systemic racism and what you can do to change it. Uh, there are several articles going on around right now. There's a uh, there's a good one on Refinery29 about check on your black coworkers. They're not okay. There's another one on medium.com that 75 things white people can do to help out during this time. Uh, just honestly, just wherever you are locally, just get in contact with people that are assisting black people and also people of color. Me personally, um, I donate and participate in Black Lives Matter, NAACP, Southern Poverty Law Center, and Color of Change. Uh, if you want to go on Instagram, there are handles such as We Buy Black, The Black Wallet, and Official Black Wall Street. A couple people that I follow are Lovey, which is L-U-V-V-I-E, uh, Van Jones, Ava, uh, 
Ta-Nehisi Coates. He's got a couple of great books and also the new Jim Crow or a couple of things that I follow. But honestly, just do the work, like have these conversations with your families, especially white people. Um, talk to your black friends because it's been a rough week. And guess what? Our experiences are different than yours. And you may not right. believe that, but that's why you need to have an open conversation. And honestly, all of this stuff starts at home. So whether it's that one ridiculous uncle that you can't stand that always comes over at Thanksgiving and no one wants to listen to him and you know they're racist, you've got to have a conversation with them. Whether it's with your children who are white and they don't understand that there's differences going on, you have to have a conversation with them. Because growing up in a black household, everyone in my family's had to sit us down when we were preteens and tell us, hey, you will encounter the police someday and it'll probably go unfairly. This is what you need to do. I have been mistreated by police officers three times in my life. Doesn't mean that all cops are bad, but there's different protocol that black people have to go through. So take this time to just really take in all what's going on, understand why and how black people have been hurting for so long and just be there for us. Thank you for coming to my Stacy talk because like that it. talk has already been taken. <laughs> yes. Oh, Charles, what's going on with you? How are you going? Um, How are you doing? I mean, I, I, I am an ally for black people. And so it has been really hard to see. Um, I think, and then sometimes there's people out there that like get, get a little offended and they'll be like, what are you talking about? I'm not white privileged. My life is hard. And the thing is, is that, and I think this is the biggest thing I can stress to anybody who feels like when you're getting called out for your privilege or white privilege specifically, um, there's, I mean, maybe there's all sorts of kinds of privilege, but right now we're talking about white privilege. And <laughs> the big thing is nobody's saying your life isn't hard. I've had a hard life. I've had trials and tribulations. And all of that is, is affected my life in positive and negative ways. However, not one time has my life gotten harder because of the color of my skin and that is white what is what white privilege is and if we all can just remember that and keep that in mind like when we when someone says check your privilege man that's not it's not it's about that it's not you're not saying like we're not saying you think you're better it's, your life is inherently easier because nobody's judging you by the color of your skin and the acknowledgement of that is a huge step forward um also there's a really cool um there's uh, Barnes and Noble has this really cool section right now of like books that are written by African American authors that are aimed for children and all about uh, racial inclusivity and those kind of things are really important. Um, on the other, more towards our podcast side of things, I met a boy. <laughs> Hilarious. We will definitely get into that. So thank you for rocking with us per usual. There's crazy things going on, but we are here per usual to make you laugh, America. You're welcome. So we are not alone. We are joined by this fabulous lady that I know. Uh, she goes by Toy Marie, but she's also known as Chop Goddess because she is a beast in these hair streets. Let me tell you, I'm going to hit her up because I'm about that <laughs> undercut life right now and i use the slippers myself it was a little ugly i'm not gonna lie so i'm gonna find you and yes but toy marie chop goddess she does the dark thing she is amazing uh she's always been a good hearted person and listen she's always looked fabulous so i'm just like of course you look like you do right now <laughs> but thank you chop goddess for being on reasons why i'm single what it do how are you what up Oh, no. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, oh, yeah, I can hear you. You're great. Oh, okay. I was so afraid you guys wouldn't hear me because I don't know how to work this or what I'm doing. So Listen, <laughs> shout out to my free. kids. They helped me. <laughs> Come on, kids. Yes. The kids helped me. <laughs> Welcome to us on Zoom because we're like, Dave, what is this? CEO of Podcast Detroit. What up? Um, yeah, we're like, what is Zoom? How do we do this? <laughs> we're the worst. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> None of us do. We just smile while we're doing it. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, but Toy, have, how have you been? I've been good. So um, I've been gone. Um, I moved away right out of high school and um, I finally came back home. I've been living in Alabama and so I finally returned. I'm back <laughs> home <laughs> after all this time. <laughs> and I'm glad to be here. <laughs> yes. 
Well, hey, let's jump into some things. So before we get started, Chelsea and I take care of a little business. So it's time for Fake Name Series of the Day. Hey, hey. So the Fake Name Series of the Day is what we use to save the shade. So instead of using people's real names, we use names that are from the Fake Name Series of the Day to hide their identities. But if they heard these stories, know who they are. Hey, hey. We won't say your name today. Hey, hey. Ain't getting sued today. Hey, hey. <laughs> Stacey, what's the show for this week? Uh, today's show is Shrill. <gasps> I just happened to have the information up. Oh, oh what? <laughs> it's called show preparation, and you're welcome. <laughs> ah, thanks, Hulu. <laughs> so, um, Shrill follows Annie, described as an overweight young woman who wants to change her life, but not her body. Annie is trying to make it as a journalist while, str while juggling bad boyfriends, thick parents, and a perfectionist boss, while the world around her deems her not good enough because of her weight. I really probably should be watching this show. <laughs> I saw the first season, it was good, and I just started season two. Nice, nice. Yes. I like it, I like it. Yes. Uh, one of our friends from high school, Rachel, is watching. Hi, Rachel. What up? Hey, hey Rachel. <laughs> right. I'm like, there could be five different Rachels that that could right. be, but, but I feel like I was cool with all of them, so A, yeah, whichever <laughs> one you are. <laughs> she also went to junior high with Stacy and I, so maybe, maybe that, that helps, could be, but who knows. That could be two out of the five. Yeah. What junior high? Da we went Davis. to Davis. Okay, okay. Oh, that's right. You went to <laughs> Heritage. I did. I was a heritage. Yeah. <laughs> did you well, like, you were in track, didn't you? We, exactly. We That's like how we all met. <laughs> heritage us, did you go to the ninth grade dance? We literally like heritage. Um, I think we skipped it. Dance. We skipped our ninth grade dance. We told our parents we were going. Look, we got dressed up. We had um, makeup, hair, everything done. And we went to Chad Gatward's house. His, his parents threw us a party. <laughs> Come on, Gatwick! Oh, I forgot. <laughs> That's we where we were at. The dance was at Heritage, and so we went, and I dragged my little ninth grade boyfriend out there, and it was like a balloon-shaped heart thing, and I'm sneaking through the window, like, we're taking a picture in front of that, and we're doing <laughs> I'm not looking controlling at all. <laughs> Man, I did not go to freshman We were that rebelling. Was Man, that was like my emo period. So I was like, I don't want to see people I don't like just in nicer clothes. And I did not go. My mom was like, you don't want to go? I'm like, nah. <laughs> I'll do better. I swear. I, I didn't know. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to fix the light in here. Okay. How's that light? That's, all right. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yes. Awesome. Yes. 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 So, Chop Goddess. Toy. So, like we ask all of our guests, um, are you taken? Are you single? Are you in a oh, relationship? <laughs> I am so single and ready yeah. to mingle. Like, like I know here a lot of people like they're like they hate dating. They talk about dating like it's like this tragedy. Like I love it. Like dating is fun. Like especially when you're over thirty, dating is fun because you don't you're not like afraid. You're not like you don't have all these like hidden agendas. And for the most part, in 2020, we're not like worried about getting married. Like that's not even that's not a goal for the most part. But so it's just fun once you take all the all the red flags once you take all the the hidden agendas out the out the equation it, it becomes fun you don't have a timeline like i gotta be married in 12 months <laughs> girl listen i'm like <laughs> i'm in no rush for anything I'm like if it no happens rush. cool if not i'm gonna be all right <laughs> we're good. We're good. the food was good <laughs> i gotta try new foods <laughs> I found out a couple of new restaurants. It's great. Wonderful. Yes. So, do you have any fun dating stories that you would like to share? <sighs> oh my God. Okay. So, for, for one, for me, I'm a barber. 
And so because I'm a female barber, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a fetish to them or like a, oh, yeah. like a challenge. Oh. They're like, okay, this is something I got to conquer. I need to get with her because she's a female barber. I mean, I get Ooh. calls or messages where guys will say things like, I might let you cut my hair beautiful, how much you charge. And then when I hit him with how much I charge, which is more than I'm sure his barber, then he's like, what? Or they'll be like, they'll send me a message and they'll be like, oh, you do house calls. Come to my house, beautiful. I'm like, okay, my house calls started at $100 for a lineup. <laughs> so, <Come on>. okay. <laughs> <Not your word. laughs> but, but yeah, like dating, like I said, it's a lot of crazy things that happens. I've been, I've been on dates with guys and out the blue, I found out they were married, secretly married, or I found out they had a secret girlfriend. Not I <laughs> <laughs> and they've been secretly it's, married. It's like it's like so many different things. Like I said, because I'm a barber, I meet a lot of weirdos and a lot of crazy things. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And Chels <laughs> talks about that too, where you're swiping through on dating sites. It's like, oh, I'm just hiding my face because of my job. And then you no. talk to them. They're like, yeah, by the way, I'm married. It's like, what are Listen, you doing? Right. The like, FBI honey, has nothing on me. Like, I am yeah. a professional <laughs> PI. Like, I can investigate and find anything. Like, I literally will find their wife where she works. Like, I will find everything. <laughs> That's a friend of She's mine. got a special set of skills. <laughs> a friend of mine, um, let's call her Ruthie. Ding. She, um, <laughs> She actually, like, literally this, this guy that I just started seeing, she goes, okay, I need his first and last name, please. And I was like, well, I have his middle name, too, so go ahead. And then literally 10 minutes later, she gives me this rundown of his, like, entire oh life. Oh, my God. Like, of everything. Wow. And she goes, well, you know, just to compare what he told you, which he was being truthful, thankfully. But then at the very end, she goes, oh, my God. He likes Creed. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. With arms wide open. It's not bad. So you know there's groups out there. Listen, there's several groups out there that have where you can like find out if the guy is cheating. Like one in particular is called Sis Is This Your Man. Um, it was started in a group with um, in Alabama called Sis Is This Your Man. And you literally like you post the guy and all the women will come and they'll discuss and talk about like if, if he's with them, if he's been lying. And I'll tell you a funny story that was in that, that group. So a guy got blasted and the girl was dogging him out and she was like, yeah, nobody come for him or talk to him. He's a loser. He's a cheater. He did me so wrong and dirty. Da, da, da. Well, the guy ends up sending his response in because some of his family members were in the group. He tells a story about how he met her online on a dating site and he was like, she, she told him to come to his house and she was like, she got mad at me because when we started doing the do, when I tried to take her clothes off, her leg fell off. So she had a peg leg and he said he started laughing. <laughs> and so she was so offended that he was laughing because her leg fell off <laughs> that she blasted him in the group. Yeah. Okay. First off, you, you cannot plan to take off your pants and not tell someone that you can't can How there. did you go that far? Stop him. Be like, hey, FYI, my leg is fake. <laughs> Before we go any further. <laughs> <laughs> Hang oh on, my let me God. get myself a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> Removes legs. Right, let me get that WD-40. It's about to be a wild night. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Chelsea, what was it? Like, Chelsea was trying to figure out if this guy had, like, fake legs, like, bionic legs, just the way he talked. What was it? Was he in the army or something? Me, no, he was in the Marines. He told me two days before our first date, mm -hmm. he goes, just so you know, like, there are, like, there people have an issue with it, but I basically, I have bionic legs. So I go on the internet and I'm researching oh. it. It's like, oh my God, he has bionic. robot legs. I'm like, okay, is it below <laughs> the knee? Is it above the knee? All this stuff. I meet him. Everything's great. He's right. moving super fast. So I'm like, okay, obviously it's below the knee. His legs then, are not his behavior. <laughs> literally, like, in the middle of dinner, as I, I chat with my hands, I talk with my hands, but as I drink, I talk even more with my hands. I knock over a full ice water glass of water right down his crotch, just like, and all I'm thinking is, oh my God, I'm going to break his bionic legs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, it's fine. We, ha we just have to go. And I'm like, yeah, we have to go. But like, we walked there and it was like 20 degrees. It was insane. And I dated that guy for a month. And before finally... One day he ended up telling me how bad his feet hurt. And I was like, what? 
wait, it's a it. I confess. Make it make sense. <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm like, basically, how bionic are your legs if you don't have, if you have feet? And then he called me just laughing. Turns out he's just had so many surgeries on this accident that happened that he has all these pins and needles and all their like plates and all this stuff. So that there's so much hardware that he thinks he has bionic legs. But <laughs> that's not the same thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? And, and then he's like, so you spent the last month thinking I didn't have feet? And I'm like, yeah. I yeah. mean, <laughs> I choose your terminology and I find guys do that a lot like they they'll use terms like I was dating this guy and he told me he was a special agent that investigated people in crime activity for Home Depot. I found out the guy was a security at Home Depot. I'm like what, what are you doing? Like why are you guys using these random terms? You're a security officer at Home Depot. <laughs> You're a special agent. I'm like ooh I got a special agent. <laughs> the investigator. <laughs> This is great. Like, hey. <laughs> He'd be oh, like, right but, you, thank you. Listen, but do they wear that orange apron? Okay. You better get you some two by fours. Yes. Anyway, can I get a discount? <laughs> right? Thank you. Listen, like, like, especially like in high school when you would get your, or junior high when you would get your first job. And like thinking yeah. back, I was like, man, like I really should have gotten it at a different place where I could get a discount. But then you start dating yeah. people. It's just like, oh, word, you work where? I'm down. Okay. Like, what? Okay. FedEx? Can we use that account? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I'm all about equal opportunity. There was this, um, what was it? At work, there was this one guy, um, I had to follow up this guy named Tony. Ding. So Tony, I needed to return um, a piece of clothing. I'm a assistant, executive assistant, personal assistant, whatever you want to call it. So she I get shit done. Okay, <laughs> language Chelsea. There's children. And so, <laughs> <kids>. <laughs> yeah, so they're sneaking, but <laughs> right, they're just like, what is mom doing? Your mother is a very big deal. Um, <laughs> So Tony, I had to follow up with this guy. And so my boss is like, yeah, I need to meet up with this guy. Like I need to return like an article of clothing or something like that. So I call this guy, Tony, and he's just like, oh, oh, you work with your boss, Mr. Andy. And I'm like, yeah, I do. He's just like, oh, okay, pleasure talking to you. Oh, it's just great to talk to you. So maybe you can come by and we can grab a drink. I was like, I don't think you understand. I need to refund something he's just like oh what? yeah it's all part of my business and blah 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 and I'm like like what he's like yeah I'll send you the UPS label whatever all this other stuff I'm like what, what exactly do you do it turns out he just works retail oh, but he has like a side hustle but he works in a high-end store so I was like Maybe wow I can see this out but at the same time I'm like I don't mix business with pleasure yeah. I can't do it so but I still he, um he checks on me every now and then to see, you know, if I want to come by. But I'm like, everything. If you were satisfied with his service. I, I was not, actually. Actually. Oh. I, I was not. He did not follow up appropriately. I asked oh, him wow. He couldn't give what me what douche. I wanted. Right? <laughs> do your job, Mr. Tony. And then we'll talk. If you do your job, great. Then I'm on board. I'm like, ooh, they take care of business. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> then they can probably take care of business. <laughs> Taking care of business every day. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my word. Ah. Oh. So how how long have you been back in Michigan? That's why I legit came here the day before the lockdown. <laughs> oh, like yeah. I came. I had all these jobs lined up. I had like ten different barber shops that wanted me oh. there. I was supposed to do like some of those like celebrity funny videos yeah. and I got here like, oh, I'm about to be the stuff. We're about to be rolling. I'm everywhere. Like <laughs> Sterling Heights to Detroit, I'm everywhere. And then the very next day when I got here, it was like lockdown. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, well, anything. on the flip side of it, at least you got here before. Because yeah, if you were on the way, true, that would have been true, rough. True. <laughs> True. So, I mean, I'm still here, happy I'm here. Like, we love you here. I missed it here. I haven't been home in six years. Wow. Yeah. 
<laughs> See, I'm too scared to leave. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> See, I, just I was too scared to stay. I love, I was too scared to stay. <laughs> Good for you though. Like I did what? I was in Columbus for a couple years and then yeah. prior to coming back here, I was in Ypsilanti for a few years yeah. as well. But my brother and his family, they're out in LA. So that has my, like LA has my heart. But I don't yeah. think I could live out there. Number one, it's a little expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, very but they do, <laughs> right? But they do have a nice selection of men out there. If I'm being completely honest. Well, <laughs> my ex, he moved there. He moved there from here. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, nice. if I see him, I'm gonna square up real quick. I'm gonna be like. Good day, sir. And then just run away. It'll be great. <laughs> Stacy is way, way too polite. She'll be like, listen, internally, I'd like to do this to you. But externally, hi, hello, how are you? <laughs> do you remember, what was it, the um, Sex in the City movie where Charlotte's like, I curse the day you were born. <laughs> like, and then just runs away. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> I'll be like, I am praying for you. Like, I'm yeah, somebody's that's, church auntie. That's I'm praying accurate. for you and your deliverance. <laughs> ridiculous oh goodness um now i will say i will say so i lived in california for a little bit i lived in san diego and some of my absolute craziest uh dates came from that's down south i just feel like sometimes <laughs> too much sunshine makes people go a little loopy what? And <laughs> everybody there is just so chill and so like this it's then, very slow yeah, it's they're so very... slow. That's see, that's the part where I just couldn't get on board. Like, so <laughs> would you say that you? I mean, I you have that. You had some crazy dates, and they're all in Atlanta, huh? Or Alabama? Excuse me. No, Alabama. Oh my gosh! So how far? All how in far Alabama. Into Alabama were you? What city were you in? So Tennessee Valley, Huntsville, Alabama, which is the oh, okay. up and coming uh, city. Yeah, yeah, but but awkward. Uh, most of the people that live in Alabama are from other places, and every week I would find someone from Michigan. <laughs> Me too. I swear, everybody in California—they feel like oh, no matter where Michigan. I'm at, I find I someone in Michigan. Isn't that Just calling you home, thing? calling you home. We are <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are. We definitely like branch out, and we're like, bye, bye. <laughs> right <laughs> midwest is where the heart is <laughs> oh, yes. we're everywhere <laughs> as we should be oh, my yes. now so, are you on are you on the dating apps now so facebook dating app is amazing actually but i no. accidentally deleted it i tried to delete it so that because i kept getting alabama connections and so i mm. Try to delete it so I can get Michigan connections. And can you hear me? It's coming in and out. Yeah, it's a little choppy, but you're good now. Oh, we're yeah. not, we're not what you're saying. Oop. Can you hear us, baby? Come back. I mean, it froze on like the most beautiful part of her face, though, didn't it? Right? Like, you look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't hear uh. you right now. <laughs> oh, I oh, wait, I hear you laughing. Uh, let me see. Ooh. Man. But yes, I swear, I do like Facebook dating out of all of them. Number one, because it shows the, um, like, people you have in common. And for me, I really don't delete, well, there's a couple people what? that I delete, me? but, oh, yeah, you're good. We hear you. Yay. But there's a couple people on Facebook dating where, yes, give us length. Yes. <laughs> Um, but there's like a couple, I like on Facebook dating app, it shows you people that you have in common. And so I don't delete everyone. And so even like the couple of like crazy people that are still on there, I'll be like, Oh, who's our mutual friend. Oh, that crazy girl, Fran. Nah, <laughs> I appreciate that part of it. Yes. Although it is funny to message people and be like, um, do you know about this person? And then they're like, why? <laughs> Right, they already know. They're like, we only have one friend in common, and I notice it's my attractive one. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm vain. I go for the, the pretty ones. <laughs> I'm 
just saying. Yes. Listen, live your best, live your truth. Go for the pretty ones. You got to be attracted to them. If you're not attracted to them, there's no, there's nothing happening. Right. I completely, yes. Yes. There's got to be that, there's got to be that je ne sais quoi. <laughs> what does that mean, Chelsea? It literally means I don't know what. It's like that I don't know what. I don't know. It's, it's the something that I'm just going to keep doing this. It's je ne sais quoi. It literally translates to I don't know what. I don't know what. It's, it's that like unprincipled special thing about you. Yeah. Interesting. I like that it just comes with a hand gesture. That's what cracks me up about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. That's what I needed to remember. How to say it's time to make the cake or did you make the cake in French? <laughs> did you make this cake? <laughs> Listen, that's all you need to tell me. And of course, I'm like, actual cake? And then something else appears. And I'm like, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, there she is. I see you, girl. You see? Yes. 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 Oh. <laughs> I yes. can absolutely figure this out. And all the kids left. Like they, they ran outside and like, oh, we're free. She's busy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, <laughs> so I don't know what to do. <laughs> right? When I needed you most, you left me. <laughs> I gave you life. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> You're hilarious. But I was raving about Facebook dating because that's my favorite out of all of them. Facebook dating, and I'm talking about like, like, I don't know how it is in Michigan, but the guys I saw in Alabama, they were like successful, good looking, like it was way different than the other dating apps. Like I said, I'm very angry. I don't know how to get it back. I don't know if once you delete it, you can't ever get it back. I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, but I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> well, my favorite I'm thing on Facebook lockdown. did was Stop that if, if your Facebook profile said that you were married, it didn't even give you an option to pop it up like what so i respect right so when it when it first came out no I'd be like, oh my god have you seen this facebook dating thing and everybody's like what are you talking about because i'm one of the last married friends of my feel like are not married people in my friend swap group mm -hmm. and so they're like what are you talking about and i was like shut up they didn't even tell you guys like no, no i don't know because it was one guy it was a, a doctor I had met in Atlanta and I liked them and he wanted to fly me out and all this crazy stuff. And I was like, let me, let me just do a search on him. Mm -hmm. And I did my little investigative search. He had a whole wife. I found out who he was, what his real name was. Like he used a different name on the dating app. Oh. He was fully, fully married. Now it wouldn't let me screenshot because I was going to, because on the dating app, you can't screenshot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he was married. <laughs> what? I just... I don't I'm understand. Exhausted. Like, I don't want to sit here and be like, but, but I am a lot as a woman. And like, I can't imagine some guy being like, I'm going to date you plus another girl. Because I need more than that. Like, I'm already a lot. I require a lot of attention. <laughs> Hello. Well, that was the whole joke with lockdown. It was just like, well, guess all the side chicks are officially single because ain't nobody checking on you. He's at home. <laughs> He's stuck at home with his family. <laughs> or my favorite is we're realizing so many people are going to like break up or get engaged. Like they're either going to be like, if we can make it through this, we got this. I've like, seen engagement. <laughs> That's the funny thing. I've seen engagement for like dudes I know. I'm not going to say, but I know they've been at the barber shop and I know they some cheaters. So I'm like, oh, he got engaged. Okay. <laughs> it's like, first of all, you were dating someone, sir. Like, because <laughs> the way you were living your life, I'm not judging, I'm right. observing. <laughs> My observations are that you need Jesus. <laughs> okay. Yes. He's on the main line. Tell him what you want. <laughs> Listen. So, Chelsea. Yeah. Okay, there was a smile there. Um, oh my what, God, yeah. What's going on with you, ma'am? <laughs> I met a guy. Oh, oh. oh fine. Um, <laughs> uh, what, what did you want his name to be, Stace? Amadi. <laughs> Amadi with a body. <laughs> body, yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> Give me body, yaddy, yaddy. Give me body. Get me body. <laughs> Thank you, Queen so, Bee. <laughs> he is, he is 35. Um, he, he grew up around here and he is like six foot and he has these like crazy blue green eyes and light, like, 
eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and he like stands up straight and with he, good like, posture. These are Chelsea's top two physical things, people that like make like, her go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got like straight teeth and all that good stuff. And come um, on, good teeth. Mm -hmm. Listen. <laughs> um and he's he was married for 14 years he's been divorced for just about just under two and uh he's got two kids one's 10 uh, there's a boy who's 10 and then a girl who's four and it turned out that his wife was saying stuff about uh work husband and like oh my work husband this oh my work husband that oh my work husband this and it turned out she was like uh, yeah. uh, happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, so 14 years they were together he was like content and happy and all that good stuff and then she was like yeah I'm gonna go be with my work husband oh, oh. Wow. yeah wow. and then and I was like oh my god are they still together and he's like no that doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> work does not work yeah in this case. <laughs> um oh yeah. so we are first like it's hard to date during all of this stuff. But our first date was we both went through the Tim Hortons drive through and then oh, wow. uh, <laughs> and then, and then we parked <laughs> next to each other oh, and like man. and we just chatted. But the thing that was crazy was that we chatted for three hours. And wow. all of a sudden I was like, oh snap, like where the heck did the time go? Um so then the next day he was like, when am I gonna see you again? Like I, and I told him about the podcast, which Stacy knows I don't really do. Um, yeah. That's our cue. That's how you know we really <laughs> like someone is if we say, hey, there's this thing that I do weekly. And they're like, mm -hmm. you dance? I'm like, first of all, I wish I'm terrible at choreography. <laughs> but I do a podcast that's about dating. And they're like, oh, so whatever it's serious, that's the only time I mention it. Or it has the potential to be serious. That's the only mm -hmm. time that I mention it. <laughs> But, um, so then the next day he was like, I want to cook you dinner, come over to my house. And my okay. husband was, he was very upfront and honest. He's like, after the divorce, he doesn't really have the financials. He's at his parents' house. And I was like, thanks for being upfront also at my parents' house. So yeah. I can't really <laughs> Who did lockdown with their parents? Yeah, I did. Cause they're getting old. And it's scary. <laughs> yeah. So like, I can't, it's not like I'm sitting here trying to judge somebody over that. So he's yeah. like, come on over. Um, I'm going to barbecue. It's going to be this really good time. What he did not tell me is that the barbecue was his like entire immediate family. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. He also told me like, we're going to hang out. Don't worry. It's super casual, like dress comfy. So I wore like a zip up and like, kind of like I mean it was cute because obviously I'm like still trying to get to know the guy and not be like right. showing up with like holy sweatpants on but like <laughs> but I was wearing just like casual black capris and like a little zip up and like but it was more like a hoodie <sighs> and I walked up and then he's like hi this is my mom and I was like uh oh um, <laughs> hi <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then in my head I was like you know what at the very least I know that he's like interested in me because he's not going to introduce his whole family to me if I'm just like a nothing you know mm -hmm. so well, <laughs> well he's <laughs> mature I only say that because um my friend Lamar oh he <laughs> when he was out there and dating so we were at his he's a close like family friend he's like a brother of mine so we went to his brother's a wedding out in California he's just like yeah I've been talking to this chick but I don't know I met her on like okay Cupid or something like that but anyway she's on her way to the reception right now I'm like why are you having this girl come to a wedding reception <laughs> he's like well you know like the party's like dwindling down a little bit and you know it's a wedding girls like that <laughs> like, okay so random like I like I stood there talking to her for most of the time just because I felt bad I'm like you don't know anyone here but at the same time like she knew why she was there <laughs> right right <laughs> well, oh so the best part is is I have a friend my friend who did all the research she literally was like um I, she goes well so if, on the first date she goes send me a picture of your outfit so I know what to look for when you go missing and then <laughs> after like an hour she was like okay it's been an hour are you are you dead or are you here and so then like his license plate and everything else uh, <laughs> oh god right seriously smart um what was his name again Stacy Amadi Amadi said he goes let's just send her a picture so that way she knows like 
so I send her the picture and I'm like thinking, oh my God, this picture's so cute. And then she goes, Ruthie's like, good. Now I have a picture of his face. So I <laughs> <laughs> image search. <laughs> Where? So I just crank it up. But yeah, so then we get all this food and all this stuff and his mom's like super, super sweet. And we sit down at the table and she's like, oh, you come sit right next to me. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to be like interrogated. <laughs> and <laughs> oh. The exact opposite happened. She sat down and just like blasted her son for like 30 minutes. Uh -huh. I was gonna say she's searching for somebody to take him, but <laughs> right? get this right? man out of my house. <laughs> she literally sat down and was like, So Amadi told me that you like this and that you're an esthetician and that you work at wow. Ulta and all this stuff. And so I turn and go, Oh, so you're talking about me, huh? Wow. And then he just turns bright red. And he's like, Thank Thanks, mom. She goes, he just likes you. Don't worry. And I'm like, that's adorable. <laughs> so cute. And his family is just so funny. Like his sister is hilarious. His sister's boyfriend is hilarious. Like they're, th we were laughing and then he's like, don't worry about my dad. He's a little bit shy. Well, this man like busted out of his shell. We were playing this dice game. I was there till like 2.30 in the morning, just like playing games and hanging out with his family. You were legit <laughs> at a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> and I won the last dice game. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this fantastic time and I'm like oh my gosh this is this is crazy so the funny part is my car was in the shop so I've been driving my dad's car which is this really big mountaineer it does not suit me at all like it <laughs> like the second he saw me in that car because he's a car guy he was like that that's not your car and I was like it's not interesting that you notice First of all, it could be my car. I'm an independent woman, but also you're correct. <laughs> so then, yesterday, I got my car back. I did my brakes. I did all that stuff. He, man, woman, living my best life. And then, ain't going back and forth with you. <laughs> and he was like, um, he was like, oh, come on. I, he was, he, I was like, he's like, I got my truck back because somebody had T boned him. So he wasn't even driving his car either. And so. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? But he just got his car back. So then we met up really quickly at the Tim Hortons by my house because he was like, I just want to show you my car and maybe buy you some coffee and maybe kiss you. And I'm like, no, it's so cute. <laughs> He's such a gentleman. It's Aww. so cute. It's so, yeah. And then he had his- Wait, so did you guys kiss? Did that happen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, listen, Aww. I get the inside scoop. America, so <laughs> um, adorable. Yeah, no, and he's like he's like a good kisser. It's not like the kind where it's like the like aggressive tongue or anything like that. It's like this, like yeah, it's he's a good kisser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I told him about the podcast. So he's probably watching or listening to this now and being like, "Oh, she thinks I'm a good kisser." Well, she does. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amadi. Amadi, yaddy, yaddy. Yes. Yaddy, yaddy. Yes, I want him to buy a Maserati. Hey. Oh. <laughs> yes, you're getting bars today, y'all. <laughs> I'm here for it. I am always here for it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he, uh, yeah, he, he's cute and I like him and we'll see. So. What color <laughs> hair does he have? It's dark. Ooh. Yeah, it's not like that dark, but it's like, it's dark. It's brown. It's, you know. I like brown. <laughs> uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, Chelsea. So we'll see. You know, you know how this is, guys. I get really excited. It could be like gone next week. But yeah. So who knows? But right now, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> right. We are enjoying this good way. Okay. Look, I am so bored. I want to be excited. <laughs> Dude, I told Helen. <laughs> uh, what was it? Chelsea went to go whatever time she went to meet up with him. She was like, oh, yeah, he's got a black truck. Also, there's a lot of black trucks here. I'm like, um, does he have friends? Should I just show up? What's, what's the protocol? Let me know. <laughs> I'm having some barbecue. See if you got some friends, some cousins. Yes, right? <laughs> yes. We're here for him and the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh the God. youngest out of his siblings and like in that oh, family oh, dynamic 
and I saw like he acted like the baby of the family. Like you know how you know how babies are always like like mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like somebody will make a joke and then like, the joke will end and then somebody will be like uh huh and then also and you add something on but it's not actually funny and you're like oh. Maybe the family, aren't you? Like, <laughs> you just wow, that I guess that is me. <laughs> Man, I wasn't I'm prepared for that me. truth. <laughs> Man, at least I know I'm now. I'm babysitting my brother right now. He, <laughs> so would, I don't say stuff. he would say <laughs> stuff and, he, and I'd just be like, wow, you're the baby of the family. Like, wow. <laughs> Oh, listen, apparently I failed him on that one. That one hit a little too close to home. Yeah, a little, it's a little much, huh? <laughs> it hurts, Chelsea. Why do I have to keep doing the work? <laughs> it's been a month of this. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, but that's so- probably the funniest part is like we were talking about the book that we read, Relationship Ready by Heidi Bushy. And um, she, <laughs> like, all of that work, because of all of that work and the realizations that I've had because of the reala- of the relationships I've had previously and the bad patterns that I have, I have already been very, very open and honest with this man about things. And so he, he made a joke because I sat there because he like, he heard my last name and he was like, get ready because it's about to be mine. And I was like, okay, Whoa, don't do okay. that though. <laughs> <Yeah. because laughs> I have a really bad habit of like getting scared and running away and like you just need to know. Oh, that's me. I'm a runner. I'm definitely yeah. running. Like guys, they seem to fall in love and be saying I love you and I'd be like, eh, well, this was fun. <laughs> <laughs> so so literally so I told him that. I sat there and I was like, hey, even if you're feeling those kind of feelings, maybe keep that to yourself until like you're really, really sure I'm in this because I have because a tendency. Long has it been? Not long at all, like four days. Yeah. Wait, it's been what? <laughs> you say four days. All right. I didn't say it. Days. I'm just warning you. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be normal, but. <laughs> no, it's not normal. It's the not normal. The excitement is still fun. So even he, he knows because he sits there and he keeps making these jokes. And I was like, listen, if you want this Don't to you have a chance of Maybe being he's something. making a joke. One thing I find too, and I, I check it when it comes to guys, is because a lot of times they'll do and say things because they think you want to hear it. They think God. they'll say something because it's going to gain your approval. And I'm like, don't do that to me because I'm not... Yeah, that doesn't so, win me over. <laughs> like, so this is literally what I was like, please don't be that guy. Because if you go right. throwing I love you's right. out, I'm going to bolt. And so then he goes, cool. So it'll be like 20 years from now, and I'll have never told you I love you. And people will be like, why? And I'll be like, day three. She told me not to say it. So I just no, tell her I like no, her a whole lot. It's not right. It's not normal. <laughs> no, don't say it. And day three. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's the truth, though. Because I feel... As though with me personally in my life, so I'm waiting till marriage to have sex. That's just what I want to do. And so dudes will what, always be like, L? "Did you put up that L, Chelsea?" <laughs> 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 I didn't want to say it, but you I did. Like, oh, so now you want to be honest, Chelsea? We're just gonna have our on-air yeah. breakup. Like, <laughs> because I can't get none, and I can't even use a it's toy because all these goddamn kids are locked in the house with me. <laughs> <laughs> and she's happy to be a virgin. Look, I am, I am going crazy. <laughs> Somebody rescue me! <laughs> At this point, that might be the name of the show. show. Somebody rescue me. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> if you would like to date Toy, her address is like. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> she can't leave, but she'll definitely hang. <laughs> I can't. Oh God! But with that, like, people do see it as a game, so they'll be like, "Oh yeah, like your wife material." I can see myself marrying you. I'm like, cool, but no, like. <laughs> It's like we like, just I met. Need, like you're I'm normal shit. I don't need you to try to hype my head. <laughs> you're not you. My ego can't fit in this room. I don't care work. how spacious my it life. is. <laughs> it happens way. all the time. They're just like, oh yeah, like let me do this for you. Let me do that for you. I'm just like, dude, like I've been I 
having had sex for years. Right. Like it's like if you're not doing it, it's not what? hard to like not do it. So I'm just like that's why I'm very upfront about that because I don't want to waste anyone's time. But at the same time, they're just like, oh, maybe I can get in. I'm like, no, you literally. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that the tickets are sold out. It's that there aren't any tickets. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's a cl it's a private event. It's closed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Liz! Oh, Chels, I'm very curious to see how this develops. Me too. This has had a promising start, but I just I'm always I'm always careful of my friends. Liz, so. I'm careful too. But the reality is, I'm like. I don't know. I was like, his family's super chill. I just want to like get to know him. Don't, <laughs> don't fall for him because of his family. That's I've true. With people because of their families. That's true. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to break up with his mom. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> like <laughs> recipes. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this guy that I dated, his name was Bo, and yeah. like Bo and I were not destined to be together. And so <laughs> Bo's mama doesn't like anyone he's like you right. just need to know that <laughs> exactly so that was the hardest part of the breakup so it was you just in. you're like oh she doesn't like anyone and she's calling me every day <laughs> right like one time like he had to travel for work so i went over to his mom's house because she just had surgery and so i went to check on her he was just like listen you can drop something off at the porch she's not letting you in we kicked it for like over right. an hour right. she's like right. girl i baked this cake i'm right. like word like <laughs> A ball it was so much fun he was just like wait you did you're still there and i'm like yeah i'm still here i'm about to spend the night like oh but we stopped talking i'm always like i hope his mom is okay and right? also she introduced me to caramel cake so i feel like i owe her a part of my life like i have a secret right. savings account for her because i just no. care so much no <laughs> <laughs> that oh. too much, but no that's true you can't, you can't fall in love with somebody just for their family but definitely like getting along with their family for sure helps oh for sure oh for yeah sure, for sure. because like i have helps. definitely seen many of my friends get in a relationship and it's very like his family doesn't like me but whatever yeah. and i'm like ooh, that's like yeah. family is super important <laughs> Like, Come on, fast and furious. Mom, love me. Moms love me. Um, except for I was married once, and when we got married, she hated me. But I mean, but other than that, moms love me. <laughs> See, How there you go. She? See, <laughs> it's about family. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Chelsea's uh, Vin Diesel impression. <laughs> It's my favorite. <laughs> too fast, too furious. No. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's funny first of all um shout out to my bro like whenever i call my brother i always say what's up bro because god <laughs> love paul walker who's in heaven now but in yeah. too fast too furious him and Ludic or him and um tyrese would go back and forth and he'd go yeah. rome bruh and i'm like that's not how you say bro like it's not how you do it <laughs> so my brother's in my frown is bruh <laughs> uh, listen twin marie tell the people where they can find you where they can get at you where they can you know you can find me you. i'm on youtube i'm on youtube as chop goddess toy as as well as my kids which is known as fly five um i also have my www.chopgoddess.com and on Instagram, which is Instagram.com forward slash Chop Goddess underscore Toy. Or even if you just Google Chop Goddess or Toy Marie, you will find me. And I'm here in Michigan. I am a certified master barber. I do it all from fades to, to razor scap facials to undercut yeah. and everything. And I have a product line. <laughs> yes, getting that work. Yes, curlies. Come on, curlies. Yes. <laughs> Thank yes. you so much for coming on the show. Yes. Thank, you Thank you for having me. It was fun. You guys are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You're up. amazing. Look at this beautiful hair. She's got this glowing <laughs> smile. There is, she's not going to be single for long. They're going to be snatching you up. Look, my kids, my kids help me do all of this. They help me, like, my six-year-old, she sometimes does my makeup and she sprays my Love hair. You. And thing, you know, a little it. water conditioner, you know. My kids help me. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, let me have some kids so that you can tell me how to make them cool like yours. 
<laughs> Listen, and you know, Stacy does. Stacy's doing fabulous stuff with her hair right now. So you Thank better get you in contact and get a product line. I have a natural hair product line as well as anybody with curly hair, as well as anybody that's suffering for alopecia, um, anything like uh, like hair loss, dandruff, dry hair. If you have hair loss, beard, you, you got patchy beards. If you want to go from looking like one of them dudes with a patchy beard to a dude with a full beard, I got a gross serum for that. <laughs> very yes, cool. I've seen very, the before and cool. afters, and I will absolutely, I promise you, I will absolutely get at you because this undercut <laughs> needs some love. I got you. An undercut or to do your natural hair. We'll do a whole little set Ooh! for you. I love it. Oh my God. It's a happening. Before and after it with is. Stacey. Yeah. Before and after on the house. I'm, I'm, oh, you know, listen, I thoroughly believe in paying entrepreneurs. Like, I never ask an entrepreneur to do something for free. You will get paid. And test. <laughs> Preach. <Yes. laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate That's you for usual. That is Chelsea. This is Reasons Why I'm Single. We'll see y'all next week. Okay, bye. Bye.